What up? It's Jimmy from odds.com. This is a clip from our big NBA show. To check out the entire show, hit the link at the bottom of the screen. It's available exclusively on odds.com. So let's get to work right now. We're starting 7 p.m. Eastern. Pistons at Cavaliers. We have full markets for just a few of these games. The first two games on the card, we have full markets on. So let's hammer this right now. We're at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse in Cleveland, Ohio. Pistons 4-13, and 1-6 on the road at the Cavaliers, 8-9, 5-4 at home. Pistons pace in the last five games, 24th in the NBA, 98.64. Cavs pace in the last five games, 20th at 99.94. And pace is just down right across the league right now. This total opened up at 215 and a half. It has dropped a half point at almost all the books. A couple books still hanging the hook. The Cavs opened up as one and a half point favorites. That has moved to three point favorites. Let's go with Detroit first. Snap the four game losing streak with a 119 104 win at home over the Sixers on Monday night. The Sixers were playing without Joel Embiid, but the Pistons did shoot 50% from the field and 44.7% from three. The long right went for 28 points, nine assists, seven boards. Jeremy Grant went for 25 points, eight boards. Wayne Ellington went for 20 points and was a game high plus 31. On the season, they're not shooting those gaudy numbers that they put up against the Sixers. They're shooting 42.8% from the field, 36.1% from three. Blake Griffin will be rested for tonight's game. So I don't need to lose my shit yelling at him. Although watching him just smirking on the sidelines might make me just as angry as watching him lollygagging around the perimeter. Uh, this team is not deep at the power forward position. They have a bunch of small forwards that can play and will be forced to play the four. Cleveland's lost two straight and coming up a 115-108 loss at home to the Lakers. Drummond keeps rolling, 25 points, 17 boards. Colin Sexton has had back-to-back -back rough games. He scored 13 points with six turnovers in their ugly 141-103 loss at Boston on Sunday, then scored 17 points with four turnovers in the loss to the Lakers. Darius Garland has returned from injury, but in three games back, he does not look good. He scored four points against the Celtics, 11 points against the Lakers. Isaac Okoro has been starting in the backcourt with Sexton. He's not been playing very well. Larry Nance missed the Lakers game and is listed as day-to-day -day with a sprained right wrist. Let's let Wham Bam get this started, coming off a 5-0 board sweepage. Bam, Pistons, Cavaliers, take it away. Yeah, man, you mentioned it. Larry Nance is actually questionable for this game. That is kind of scary for you to think about back in the Cavs at minus three. The over is looking at 215, I believe, right? If it's yeah. at 215. The last the last few matchups for this meeting, I'm sorry, the last eight of the last ten, it has went over in this matchup. Now Cleveland has covered the last four meetings. Now without uh without without uh Larry Nance, that should give Jeremy Grant a little bit more of a wiggle room. He had he's been having some bad matchups as of late. So he did starting to creep back up. I know he was hitting his overprop or he was hitting his points overprop at a streak. And then it did come to an end because he kept running to the bugs. He's running to other these big time matchups that's keying in on him. And he's the only guy that's making these shots. Now, Wayne Anlinton, I'm glad you mentioned him, bro. He's been killing. Been killing. I think this is almost like a career stretch for him, if I'm not mistaken. He's been shooting lights out. I like Osman as well. If uh if Nance is out in the lineup, Osman. Seti Osman, if I'm saying his name wrong, I'm sorry, there. He's been pretty much a reliable third option behind uh, Andre Drummond and Colin Sexton. With this guy, he's been shooting 50% uh, from the field from the last three, uh, last five games, I'm sorry, from three. So he's shooting 50% from three. And on top of that, he's averaging 17 points per game in his last two weeks. So he's been doing pretty good. I like the Cavs to be covering the spread at minus three. I don't think Detroit is going to have enough down low, like you mentioned, Jim. Their last, um, their last uh, three games for the Cavs, they averaged 57 points in the paint. This team in Detroit, they don't really average that much in the paint. They're going to rely more on their shooting. I think they're at 35, per, uh, 35 points per game in their last three games. Have been a little bit slowed down. Now, they did lose their last three, I, I believe you said mentioned that. I think the Cavs, honestly, is the best spot here. But I lean, I lean towards the Cavs team total over. Just because, I, like you mentioned, Garland and Sexton not playing well. They have pretty much favorable matchups here. There's no one that I believe I'm, I'm scared that these guys can score on. And Garland particularly, he has been still looking right. It just seems like there's something slightly bit off. I think you're going to get something rolling here. I think you're going to get something rolling against this team. This uh, Detroit team has been playing tough, though. Don't get me wrong. 
They have been playing tough as of late, but I'm liking this Cavs team, and I'm thinking about taking the team total over. I do like that team total over. If we get something around nine, eight and a half, I'm sorry, 108, 109, I think I like that. Yeah, I don't know if – let's see what we can get you right now for the team total. And that's exactly what it's at, 108 and a half. It's slightly juiced to the over at minus 115. Yeah, I like that. I'll take the over on that one, bro. All right, that is available at FanDuel. Team total over 108 and a half and minus 115. I will line shop at a couple other books while Dutch is – breaking this down can Doc, i also add something that's my apologies bro no my apologies i also want to mention that since that over hit eight times out of the last 10 the average total combined was 226 and a half the average total was set at 215 seems like this is a this is a lazy line in my behalf it's such a big stretch card i kind of like to look for what i think the line setters are being a little bit more lazy on I think they're being lazy on this on this line here, just based off of the last matchup. So that being added up there, that's another reason why I like the team total over. Cavs team total over 108 and a half minus 115. It's available little FanDuel right now. Uh, Dutch, after l- looking at this and before you break this down, the f- one thing that's just jumping at me is how does Andre Drummond not continue to roll playing against his former team and Miles Plumley can be swatted away with the uh, tiniest of smacks right. by – Andre Drummond. It makes me want to take a points, rebounds prop with Andre Drummond. Tell us what you are looking at and how you plan to attack this game. Dutch boy, fresh pistons, calves. Okay, so uh, I test wise, you know, I I think um, you know the Cavaliers are a better team. Um, I'm pistons to me are you know I'm in fade mode on them. I like to bet against them most of the time. Um, Jeremy Grant, yeah, he's been nice. I do think he they're keying in on him a little more. They're seeing what he can do and, and pretty much make him shoot jumpers. And, and you know, and, and you'll be all right. And Blake Griffin, we know we're gonna get out of him. I don't expect. I like Ethan Wayne Elton, but I don't expect him to continue that type of shooting. Um, so the numbers actually back up what I think as well. Uh, the Cavs are six and three ATS at home. They're four and one in their last five ATS. Four and zero ATS in their last four meetings, and five and one ATS in their last six meetings. Uh, now the Pistons are si- are one and six on the road straight up. Three and three one. ATS in their last uh, on the road, excuse me, two and seven ATS in their last uh, meetings in Cleveland. Um, now the Pist- now the now to back up what Wham was talking about, uh, the Pistons is six and one to the over on the road, six yep. and zero oh in their last six on the road. Uh, six of the last seven meetings in Cleveland have went over, and the Cavs are four and one in the last five at home um, to the over as well. Uh, so this game does scream over to me, I, and I do. As you said, the lines already dropping to the under. I think too, you see these two teams, you see the pace um, for the season. You think, okay, these teams aren't going to score, but I believe that we are going to get some points in this game. I might wait. I, I actually really like that uh, that look that Wham's got there. Um, if I think the over is going to hit, I definitely think that'll hit too. So I should probably tell that as well. Um, but if it's going to drop, I think we could probably get a lower number here. Uh, what do you think about that, Jim? It looks like, I mean, we've already seen it drop a half point. Judging by the pace, and we can't do that. That's what we've noticed, especially capping the Clippers, that we just can't judge the pace by offense. Right. But they're not moving very quickly, and they're hitting their shots. I mean, look at the <coughs> just came off shooting 50% from the field, 44.7% from three. And that's what eight percent better than their usual field goal, right? And, and eight percent, almost eight and a half percent better than their usual three point percentage rate. I mean, if they shoot anything close to that, this game flies over. Yeah, I think you know, I think I like the matchup with the Cavs actually. I think they're, uh, like I mentioned, a better team. I like what I've seen against Brooklyn and back to back games with Brooklyn, and then they did lose to the Cavs or excuse me, to the Lakers, but they played tough. And I like that look with Drummond, like you mentioned down low, Jim. Uh, but yeah. they see it. he's been juiced a lot. So it's just a matter if you got enough balls to lay it, you know. But uh, he he's probably, he's going to get it. He's been getting it. Uh, but I definitely want to lock in full game Cavs. And uh, we'll go ahead and wait on that under, boss. Yeah, the both, over, of, me, the over. both of these teams, I believe they're shooting over 51% effective field goal percentage in the last three games. So these guys are all shooting pretty well. It's just that I feel like, you know, like you said, they're the better team. So we got to go lean that way. Because yeah. the the stat, and I might the tell lineup that figure is wham. I like that look, man. That's a good one. What was the juice on that, Jim? Uh, well, on the Cavs full game, it's very little. Minus three at minus one hundred six at Resorts Casino. And a one and a half would have been lovely, but yeah, we'll lock that in, Jim. 
All right, Dutch is on Cavs, minus three and minus 106 available at resorts. And I will be moving on the Drummond prop. That's how I'm nice. uh, moving here. Not sure what that is yet. It's not up at FanDuel or Pet365 or any of these licensed books yet.